What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have another unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 February Nerd Blog Classic. I don't know what the theme to this month is, but hopefully it's not something dead, because I'm over that. Uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll put the pricing details in the description below. Once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Oh look, they put a design in here. I don't know if that's always been like that. How does it look? Is it Walking Dead themed? I hope not. Oh, cool! I'm excited. So it's Deadpool and superhero, but not necessarily Walking Dead or zombie themed. So the first time that we got is a Batman Glow in the Dark mug. That's very cool. I've been drinking a lot more tea lately, and I have had this fascination about collecting cool mugs. I'm not going to open it because it's kind of hard, but there you go. It's a black mug and it has the bat symbol that glows in the dark. The next one we got is a Nerd Block exclusive. It's a wine. Oh, it's a super wine stopper. I usually don't like the Nerd Block exclusives, but this is amazing. Obviously, this is made to look like the mushroom from Super Mario Brothers that makes Mario grow. <laughs> I love it. I love this so much. Oh, I love it. How perfect is this for me, too? That means I need to do a wine series. I have my electric wine opener and now I have my wine stopper. So this is perfect. The next item is a little Marvel and Nerd Block exclusive plushie. Okay, I always I always knock Nerd Block for this because they usually do exclusives that are not like legit. They're just things that they make. But this is an actual Nerd Block and Marvel exclusive, so that's really cool. This is Deadpool and he's wearing like white. I don't Somebody told me about all the different types of Deadpool, but I don't really remember what they were. I don't even remember him, like, wearing different outfits in the movie, but you know what? I don't pay attention to those things as much, so that's my bad. <gasps> what? This is so cool. This is so freaking cool. And it doesn't smell bad. This is an oven mitt. Sorry, I'm not even showing you. It's an oven mitt. It's an oven glove. Now, this is probably in reference to something that looks like a little video game controller, but honestly, I don't really know. I don't know exactly what it's referencing, but this is so cool, and I love this. Oh, yeah. Okay, last item is the shirt. It's a men's medium. It is a shirt punch shirt. Black, and I see Deadpool on it. What does it say? Mercenary? Of course. Wilson's Mercenary Services, since 1991, will kill for tacos. I don't understand what the, I mean, I don't, I just don't understand what the skull reference is. Why do they have to do that? Why can't they just have his face? Do you think it's copyright? Is that like why, like licensing? But it's still a cool shirt. Not my favorite, but it's cool. Okay, that was all the items. Next month, there's going to be a heroic exclusive, as well as items from The Karate Kid and Game of Thrones. Psst. One of these items is a celebrity autograph. Don't miss March's Nerd Block Classic. Okay. Well, I guess you're gonna get an autograph item in it. We'll see. I don't know, I feel like Nerd Block in the past used to have theme boxes, but it doesn't seem like lately they've had that. Let's kind of go through this. So the item of the month is the Marvel Nerd Block uh, exclusive. It is, if this, this is a, a very limited number of you are receiving the ultra rare white chase variant of this toy. So excited! So the normal one that everyone got is the red Deadpool. And then I don't know what the limited number is, so there's probably a whole lot, but limited edition white Deadpool. What? Yes! Okay, uh, we had our mercenary shirt. My battery light is blinking, so I don't know if my camera battery is running out, so I'm gonna go faster. So we had our mercenary shirt, which is cool, not my favorite. We had the exclusive. Wine Stopper, and I love this. I know it's not a licensed product, but I love it. Obviously, we know what they're trying to go for. Look at the box. I mean, clearly we know what they're trying to emulate. We got the Glow in the Dark Batman mug, which I like as well. And we have the, uh, what do they call this? It's an oven glove. I love the oven glove. It's so bad. Up until now, you probably used a regular store-bought oven mitt, but now you're playing with power. Handle your baked goods with style. This novelty oven mitt will keep your hand stable while baking, but why stop there? Where to work, where to school? I actually could bring this to work, so when we're doing snack and stuff, I could use it. I'm very excited. I, I I love to cook. I don't cook a lot, but I love to cook. And when I do, I like to cook in style. 
with my Batman mug and my Chase White Deadpool plushie. All right, guys, uh, I actually like this box. Let's do pricing really quick. <clears throat> $10 for the shirt. I usually would just give this like five or $6, but I'm gonna give it $8 because it's the Chase figure. That's 18. Uh, this thing is freaking awesome. I'm gonna give this, okay, I'll be realistic. I'm gonna give it $3, although I wanna give it $5. I'm gonna give it $3. 21. This mug is at least probably five to, five to seven dollars, so we'll say six dollars, seven, and then this oven mitt, I would probably give mm, four to five dollars, let's do four. So that puts a total about thirty dollars. I think I pay like twenty-seven dollars for this box, so you just get your value, but it did come with some cool exclusive items that, you know, I don't, you probably couldn't necessarily find at st in stores, and I like that. Like, these are the three exclusives, and I always give them crap for their exclusives, but I like them this month. Some people might not like them, but I like them. I like them a lot. If I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a, I would actually say a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I really like this box, and I like the stuff in it. The reason it's not higher is because I think if it had better value. So I think if the items, like, added up to a better total, um, it would have a higher rating for me. But you get your value for the box, and you do get exclusive items that you can't necessarily get anywhere else. So I like this box a lot. 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I know it's a little bit high for me, but I really do like this box. It's a good one to end on, too. All right, guys. That was my 2016 February Nerd Block Classic. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about this box. Do you think I'm crazy for giving it a 4.5? I really like the items. I would say the item I like the least is the shirt, and I don't hate it. It's just not my favorite shirt, but I do really like the rest of the items. I'm starting to regret my 4.5 out of 5 rating. I was going to just secretly change it, but I'm just going to tell you guys, it's anywhere from a 4.25 to a 4.5, and, and now that I realize it, I'm not a huge fan of the shirt, so I think if the shirt was a little bit cooler and it had better value, it would be higher for me, but I would say between a 4.25 and a 4.5, somewhere in between out of 5 noobs. That's what I'm rating this box. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it. Uh, and remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my Thank You to Subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!